Today I'm going to show you a uh, spreadsheet I developed for the rental income expense. It's a pretty cool uh, spreadsheet. Um, took me a while to develop it. It's a continue from uh, last year. If you saw my prior video, uh, there is a link bef below to see that. But I have uh, made some updates and I uh, figured I'd show with you. And also you can purchase this spreadsheet if you think this will help you grow your business, your rental business, the following year. Quick review over here with the spreadsheet. This is the dashboard. I call it the dashboard because it's gonna have your annual cash flow, you know, your yearly summary and everything here. So what it does on this dashboard is it's, once you input all your information, it's gonna show you all the accumulation. Um, it's gonna calculate everything for you, all the expense for each property. It's gonna have a breakdown by property, and then it's gonna it's gonna show you income, your expense. And your yearly summary pretty neat it automatic calculates for you and then it generates this information um, chart and the, the reason for this chart is just to visualize let you see what properties is making the most income or what property has the most expense and then you also have your net profit of course net profit is minus your uh, expense after uh, your income and it also shows your annual expense and net profit on this main yearly summary. So it's a pretty neat, uh, nifty chart uh, uh, d dashboard. It uh, I use it to kind of give me an idea and plan, uh, even for the fountain, you know, the next year, what property is generating more income and reason why, and so you can uh, plan and execute what you need to do to make your each property more cash flow positive. Expense. You're probably asking, how does this spreadsheet work? Uh, it's really simple, real easy. My main purpose of making this spreadsheet was to save time and make it really simple. So I made it where the drop down menu list just drops down and you select the property and you put in your date. Let's say you work on a window replacement. You put, you type, this is type in your notes here, window replacement. And where did you get your window replacement fixed? Let's say, uh, at the home furnishing so it once you select that tab it calculates everything for you the miles the time even if you want to keep track of your times the travel times you can uh, put it in there just for you know uh, I just want to see how much time I spend yearly on each property and then uh, and here you once you put in your location you put in a category which category you want your expense to fall into and then you put them out and then you can record the time let's say 6 a.m. and let's say you got done at let's like, say 10 a.m. and it calculates for you here and I messed up here let me put this here so I can and say here four hours that you spend time on window replacement okay um, <clears throat> so this is this spreadsheet is your daily daily data entry spreadsheet. This is where you can probably this is where you're gonna be putting most of your information daily into this spreadsheet. Once you put the information in this daily data entry, it will generate your summary, which is over the next tab. Your summary where it calculates each property by category, by income category, expense category. And of course you can change all these you want and I'll show you that spreadsheet here in a little bit it's linked with the spreadsheet it's really simple to change the income and the expense category you will like and another thing I add into uh, this, this spreadsheet summary for visual man management purposes once you input your data entry and your income and expense each cell will automatically fill it up and you can set the amount minimum max limit amount so you can see it, how much each property expense and income is increasing per month. Now let's go to the data calculation entry tab. On this spreadsheet, you're going to input all your drop down menu list, your income, your expense category. So in this spreadsheet, you're going to be able to change your drop down menu list to your preference. Let's say I want to change this to uh, uh, construction 
cost. I change it to construction cost. And you go back to the date entry here. You category. And now you can see here and here it changed the construction cost over here. So it's pretty uh, pretty neat to save you time. But when you want to update your income category expense and expense, you just go in this tab. You adjust it to your preference. And over here, your data calculation entry. This is where you get an average of your miles, your time, and let's say you go from from business to property one miles amount. Let's say 30 mile one way and calculates automatic calculates your miles back and then the time it takes and the time back. The reason you do that so when you go back to the day entry, you have the option to select what property and it will automatically like the location. As you can see here the location it will automatically calculate the miles for you. If you click on wherever and then it all might calculates what the miles times back. That's the reason why that's there. Then down here is your weekly travel calculation. I use this for let's say I'm traveling to a store, or a construction company, or a, or a lumber place, or appliances um, store. I'll make it, instead of trying to track everything. I just use this, I tell you where I go, I put in my business, I put the store, the distance, like for example here business and to home furnishing, it's 20 miles to get there, 40 miles back, 12 minutes. So once you put that on my calculator, you go back to daily entry and you have the options to select location. You can see here, you select location and change the miles and minutes. Once you do that, it's all calculated and carry over to the summary. You have the miles, minutes for each property you spend. So at year end tax, you can actually use that information to calculate your miles. You're probably asking, why do I use the miles in times and minutes? Well, in the year end, you have the option to deduct your miles, the driving miles for your your business expense. So that's the reason I have that for each property. You can actually track and deduct how many miles you travel. Okay. And also the meals. If you're you you're going out, let's say you're working all day on the house, um, you went out for lunch, you can you can put let's say twenty dollars for lunch, and then it also calculate that for you. It brings that over here. As you can see travel meals, maybe twenty. Calculate the end of year and you can deduct that off your taxes. As you can see, the spreadsheet is very simple to use and it does save me quite a bit of time. Year end tax season is coming up and this spreadsheet does help me a lot. It does save me a lot of time. And including in this spreadsheet is a how to use tab. It will have a breakdown of the instructions on how to use the spreadsheet. Make it a little bit easier and more explanatory. Another cool thing that I add to the spreadsheet is it's protected, meaning if you try to change anything else that's not in the ordinary, like for example this, you're not going to be able to ch change it. It's locked out so you won't mess up the formula. Only the areas that you're allowed to type in or change the cell, you're allowed to. So that's the nice thing about the spreadsheet. So let's say I try to input it, change anything, it's not going to mess up the formula. Now, of course, if you want to change things, you can unprotect it. It's not password protected. And I do have a link below if you would like to purchase a spreadsheet. I highly recommend it if you are an investor that has more than 10 properties. It would definitely save you a lot of time.